hello everyone today in this video we are going to discuss about how we can create the plans for different intervals so in the previous videos we learned that how we can create a simple plans and then save this plan into the stripe and then save this into the database so now the time is to uh, set the different interval for this for these plans so let's take uh, eye on this example so this example is for 7 days 30 days and 120 days access so it means that uh, i want to uh, give access to the clients for 7 days for a week and then i want to uh, the access for 30 days a month and then i want to send this 120 days so now first let's understand the problem and then discuss its solution so problem is uh, stripe only allow us to uh, create the plan based on the week month or year so how we can create the 120 day access so let's go to the stripe and uh, take eye on this stripe documentation stripe clearly described that uh, interval would be the week month or year so how you can do this for two month or three months so there is one more parameter which is interval count so you need to specify if you want to create it for two weeks so you need to pass the week parameter and uh, then you need to pass this interval count uh, count number like one two or three three means that you want to create it for three weeks so if you pass this month here and pass three here so it means that you want to create this for three months so in this case uh, like uh, this one 120 days access so i want to create this for four months so how uh, i can create this one so here i need to set this interval as month and then i need to specify this interval count as four so it means that this will create it for 120 days access so this is the idea so let's uh, go to the project and uh, i already added this thing into the project so in the previous videos we uh, just make this made this nullable right so now i'm saving this interval and then interval count so let's go back to our project this is uh, here we are getting the name so let me type the i'm typing the basic plan and here i'm going to specify its amount and then currency currency would be usd or pound is totally on you and then this would be interval count so i want to specify it for uh, two weeks okay and i need to specify uh, choose the weekly and uh, stripe uh, accept the week month and year so let's uh, let me tell you that what which point i want to highlight go to this create plate and here in the in this uh, drop down you need to pass week not weekly because stripe accept week month and year so you can read it from the stripe documentation right so you need to specify week month and year and then you need to also submit this interval count number like uh, you want to uh, submit for two weeks or uh, three or four and stuff like that okay let's go here and i want to create this for two weeks so click on this save it's going to create the plans and it says that page expired i don't know what's happened so let me give it a refresh i think i had not refreshed the web page that's why it's throwing this error <coughs> sorry okay this would be a basic plan and then amount would be 10 and the currency would be usd 2 and building period would be weekly submit this and uh, yes now it's returning the success so it means that this plan is created successfully right so let's go to the database and check this plan saved or not <coughs> okay this plan is saved and uh, in the this name will be name week billing method is weekly okay and then interval count is two so it means that uh, this uh, uh, subscription will be uh, will be ended in the 14 days so how we can specify this uh, this plan days in the subscription when users subscribe to this plans how we can add uh, add this uh, uh, 
weekly like 14 days if user subscribe today so how we can track that uh, after 14 days this will be entered so laravel cashier by default added this in the stripe that uh, for example if it's starting it from 1st march it will be ended at the 14 march but it does not edit this so in the subscription table there is no column exist in this table right where we can get the duration of this uh, uh, duration of this ending uh, uh, stripe subscription right so there is no column so how we can manually add this column so we we'll, uh, already learned this in the previous video that how we can create this uh, uh, publish these uh, subscription migration and then add this table add this column into this subscription table so now the time is to save this value here so how we can do this so let me check the video size no it's not going to bigger so i'm going to my existing project where i'm going to explain to you that how you can create different types of uh, intervals and create the create the exact date to uh, get the exact date from this interval and uh, billing method so in this project i'm getting the billing method and interval count and by using this you know, billing method and interval count i'm creating end at so end at means that when our subscription will be ended so here i'm calling this get trial end date so you can uh, get the trial date or you can also get the subscription ending date so it's totally upon you so i'm using this for trial ending date so most of the time you can use this for your trial ending date okay so let's go to this uh, method let's go to the top not top it's down okay it's this one so get trial method except two parameter the first one is billing method and this one is the interval count so here how i'm generating this logic so i created a global variable ends at null and here i'm checking that if billing equal equal week then i'm going to check the interval count so for example if user added uh, uh, interval count one so this case will be executed and ends at would be the 7 multiplied by 1 so it means that this ends at contain this 7 so why i am creating this 7 here so when uh, let me go to the top oh, let me explain this uh, if this case is 2 then this will generate the 14 and if this is 3 it will generate the 724 and this will also get this 28 okay and if this one is a month it will create the 30 and uh, 60 and stuff like that so you can also do this for the year right so now after uh, when this function will be executed this will return an uh, integer value like it will return 7 14 or 21 or 28 and stuff like that right so how we can generate the days from this date okay let's go to the subscription process subscription method where we are getting the subscription so this is the process subscription so here you can uh, create your trial uh, let me go let me uh, make this a little bit bigger for you okay so here we are creating the subscription uh, where we are getting the subscription it's uh, uh, let me find this where we are getting the oh here we are getting the subscription so uh, i removed uh, a method here which is uh, trial uh, trial and days and days so you can check this out from the laravel cashier documentation which clearly described so here you can add the trial and uh, days or date i'm not sure about this method because i removed it to uh, now so here you need to pass the integer value so i i will pass this integer value which i'm getting this uh, from this uh, get trial date so i will pass this ends at here so this ends at like uh, this right so it will return the integer value like 20 or 30 or 50 so it will uh, create uh, this uh, for for example this is the first march and i pass this 14 so it will automatically generate the 14 date so it will automatically add the 14 days in the in the subscription 
so we can success uh, we uh, we can easily track the duration of the subscription so it's uh, very useful so you can also add this into your new project let me uh, not new project new uh, column so in this case uh, i have added this subscription ends at so this one is subscription and that and how i'm saving this uh, date here so i'm uh, getting this now method which will return the now time which is on the server and then i'm adding add days so this method is exist in the laravel and here i'm passing this ends at right so i'm adding basically i'm adding these 14 days or 28 days into uh, and to, to today date so it means that we can save this uh, subscription ends at value into our subscription so you can also if you want to make this for trial as so you can uh, do this here trial at which i will show you before two minutes okay so hope you get an idea that how you can generate the different uh, intervals of plans so it's uh, very tricky if you don't know how to do this so it's uh, very uh, uh, it's not uh, pretty straightforward because uh, most of i uh, when i'm implementing this one uh, i don't have any reference and I'm, i almost uh, spent my one or two days to find out this one then i visited this uh, stripe uh, documentation and found this situation that uh, there is an interval count property so basically i'm finding this uh, how i can set the different type interval like two three or four so i'm finding this one so that's why i'm confused and then now i came with the interval count so hope you get an idea that how you can create the different time interval so hope you will learn a lot from this series and if you like these videos subscribe the youtube channel and stay connected bye, -bye.